What's going on, guys? Um, the next day, we're out here. Well, I'm out here. Uh, I'm about to install the six speed, like, super tone horn. If there's anything I know about Civics, it's the uh, friggin' horn. Girliest thing I've ever heard. So, with these, yeah, it's, it's going to be loud. So, once you guys get to I'm going to try and do this a little more in depth. Uh, we'll see. Um, let's get to it. Okay, so getting to the horn, the horn is about right here. Um, so it's pretty easy right now. You just got to get rid of uh, this shroud right here, which is basically just held in by clips like that. That one's missing. Uh, what I want to try and do is mount it to where it's visible here, like most people do. But the thing is, it's uh, stock mounted like right here around this area so you can't see it so I don't know if I'm just gonna have it a stealth horn or if I'm gonna actually be able to mount them right here basically just for for these I just really like to use the uh, diagonal cutters I just think they're easy and of course space for random stuff is amazing on the civics Now from the remainder of this uninstall to get the bumper off pretty much it's just four things uh, you've got a hex bolt right here a hex bolt right here you're going to have a screw right here in this area and another one on the other side that's pretty much it you just kind of pull it off Crash piece, and I'll set that to the side. Alright, bumper is detached from the top. Uh, the horn is right here. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there it is right there. So, basically, I can't really get to it. So, what I'm going to end up doing is just uh, I'm going to take the. I'm just going to jack it up so that this bumper will go down a little bit farther. That way we've got easier access to it. Well, since um, it's not really going any lower, um, the thing is my bumper is held on by zip ties for the most part, so it's gonna be really easy to just take on and off. So we're just gonna take it all the way off. It ain't that hard. Just got a couple throughout the thing. And uh, my fog lights have a quick disconnect. So we'll be pretty good on that. All right, now we've got the bumper off, sitting right there. So now we can get a clear look at what we're looking at. So this right here is our horn. So I've got to try and figure out a way if I can or cannot mount it. Uh, the super horns, where they're visible. Probably not. Oh well. So we'll just get rid of this, see if that goes. Alright, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off. I think it's probably a 12, yeah. It's a 12. I believe this is the only bolt for it. 
not that heavy, so I assume so. There's our horn. What's keeping it on? There we go. Sweet. So now we gotta figure out where we're gonna hook this up. Uh, might as well just see if we can only mount the horn right here. I mean, sorry, threaded right here. So basically, this is how I've decided to set it up. I just kind of put it in the same place. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, those are really aren't going anywhere. Right here is the stock place where this used to go. Yeah, that, that's going to be louder. Um, so now we just got to hook this up to it. Uh, got to figure out... Which one? Is that just one wire going to it? Okay. Well, we're going to figure this out. That looks pretty sick. I like that. Even though you're not going to be able to see it. It's probably going to be stupid loud. So apparently there's only one wire. I believe it's the power wire. Um, let's see if it'll focus in on it. Um, anyways. So what I'm just going to end up doing is I'm going to hook up a ground wire from one of these posts and uh, just hook it into here. And that'll be my ground because I believe this will go to the chassis. Okay, so now I've got this single wire put into two. So basically now I'm running, I'm turning this series circuit into a parallel circuit. Uh, this will be, these will serve as my positive. Um, I've got these little connections that fit very, very snug on this, so I believe, I don't believe it really matters on which one's positive and which one's negative. Um, so I'm just going to attach one to this one and one to the other one. And for the other one, I'm going to run two wires, and they're going to go either into one or two of these. Let's see if it'll focus. But, um, and this will go right up here here to where I can bolt it in I hope I believe that'll work um, so basically I'm just turning the series circuit for the single horn into a parallel circuit for the two horns and I know butt splices aren't really the best thing but they're really all I've got right now um, but it seems like these will hold I don't think these are gonna move a whole lot okay so basically what I've done with this is in the most basic sense, I've done the opposite of what I did with the power wire. Um, this is going to be split between the two different uh, horns, and this is going to go to one ground. Uh, we're going to see how this goes. I think this should work out quite well. This has been pretty easy, actually. As you can see, it's pretty snug fit. I don't think these are ever going to come off without a lot of encouragement. Alright, that's how they're hooked up.
Okay. Where'd my bolt go? There it is. Okay, so we've hit the snag. Bolt is a little too big for the thing, so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna bore it out a little bit more, get that off. So basically what I've done to get this, I took, found some drill bits, uh, kind of eyeballed it as close as I could to the size of the bolt, and I made sure that's not gonna destroy the circle so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a drill bit and drill this out just a little bit more. That way it'll be able to, the bowl will be able to fit through and I can have my solid ground. Uh, I ended up having to use a punch instead of the drill bit. Drill bit kind of just tore it up a little bit more. But either way, I now have the bolt through it. So that'll act very well as my ground now. So now we're going to put it back on. Okay, so everything's hooked up. Pretty much the only problem now is this thing kind of hits a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen the one bolt. I'm going to maneuver these around. There's a little bit of wiggle room back here. So where I can have it and it's not hitting anything. Because I don't want to be driving down the road and here just rattling all the time. I'll, let you, I'll show you guys what I did, ended up having to do. Okay, so basically what I was able to do, I just pretty much put this down a little bit so it's under this bracket. It hits a little bit, but that's not really a big worry. It's not on it or anything. This one kind of touches my crash bar, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to give her a test now. That is incredibly a lot louder than I expected it to be. Um... It's definitely not girly anymore, and I, I like that. <laughs> so that's how you install that. that. Well, at least that's how I did it. Um, basically, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to end up putting the car back together. You guys know how that goes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric from Dead Gentleman Society, and we'll see you guys in the next video.